The girl jumped to the ground but there was not a trace of blood. The whole body just crumbled apart like plaster. The crowd gathered around was not surprised because it was caused by a virus called Medusa, commonly known as petrified disease. Once infected, the patient will be within two months. The cells will gradually harden. Lethality rate of up to 100%. No one knows exactly where the virus started, and no one knows how to treat it. The virus spreads so fast that people are on edge, and society is torn apart. But at that moment, a chemical company came forward and claimed to have a solution. They called it cryonics. They plan to isolate the infected people and use cryosleep technology to minimize the metabolism in the patient's body leaving the patient in a state of semi-permanent sleep until a vaccine is developed sometime in the future. They will be awakened. However, this technology is very expensive. And as of now, the company can only provide 106 to cry asleep bins. Kasumi was lucky enough to be chosen out of a population of 8 billion and took a bus to the chemical company along with the other lucky ones. It was more like a castle than a company. A total of 160 people were taken to the church where they were each given a bracelet to wear. Once the petrified disease started to take hold, black spots appeared on the bracelets. Before entering the sleeping chamber, no personal belongings could be brought with them, except for glasses. Each person's body would be implanted with a chip to monitor the state of sleep. Kasumi was brought to the sleep pod located on the upper level, along with the temperature drop, and soon fell asleep. In her sleep, she dreamed of her sister. Originally, both his sister and herself were infected with petrified disease. But her sister voluntarily gave up her place. Kasumi woke up with a jolt and found that his sleep pod had been opened and her surroundings were covered with thick thorns. Kasumi found the glasses and looked down. The whole base had been covered with thorns and vines. Could it be that several hundred years had passed? Just then, the surrounding sleeping pods opened one by one. And everyone, like Kasumi, wondered what had happened. The people have concentrated on the open space below, thinking I have to call for help outside. Suddenly, a strange bird flew in front of a girl, screaming incessantly. The strange birds poured out and began to hunt the group of humans. Everyone was hiding on the ground, shivering, afraid to resist. At that moment, a man suddenly shouted and told everyone to go to the elevator. When the crowd heard this, they hurriedly fled in the direction of the elevator. Some people in the crowd shouted that the elderly and children should begin priority. But who cares about these moral and benevolent rights when life and death are at stake? and they all desperately tried to push forward. Finally, the elevator doors opened and people just ran forward. One by one, they fell down, inside which there is no elevator, only a monster's huge mouth just grabbed in the front of the group of people, all eaten by the monster. The rest of the people rushed back to run. At this time, the monster birds also began to gradually disperse. 160 experimenters survived only seven people. Everyone gathered together to discuss when the location of the sleep chamber is in the ground. No matter what, they can only go up now. The corridor was just covered with some thorns. So just be careful when they pass by. Vines and thorns have burrowed into all the corners of the base. It seems that hundreds of years have indeed passed. Soon, this old man was physically exhausted and sat a day on the ground without saying a word. He launched a complaint to everyone, saying that they did not care about him and no one carried him. However, the words just fell. <laughs> The crowd was very shocked and confused about what was going on. Why would such a monster appear in the base? Too late to think more, they could only run for their lives first. Fellow children suddenly discovered that the monster could hear the sound, so they could not desperately run away. To cover up the sound when running away, the people jumped into the river and went down the river, finally escaping. Just want to breathe a sigh of relief. Look up! Did not expect to break into the monster nest. The crowd desperately fled forward, but the iron door was tangled in vines simply cannot be closed. Fortunately, Danny found a shotgun from the room and was able to barely repel the monster. As soon as the long-haired man took the weapon, he broke the vines and closed the iron door smoothly. The crowd made their way to the control room and were finally able to get some rest. When they watched the date on the computer, they were surprised to find that they had only just been frouncing for 48 hours. The crowd arrived at a warehouse and the door immediately rang with the sound of a violent crash. Did the monsters catch up to here so quickly? Several people rushed forward and blocked the door, but the crash outside still continued. Glasses girl momentarily lost concentration, and something outside the door immediately took advantage of the opportunity to break in. The crowd fixed their eyes. This person is the boss of the chemical company, the general director of this sleep experiment. A crowd eagerly asked him what had happened outside. The boss told the truth. Everything has to start from a meter shower eight years ago. A meteorite hit the ground, and in just one week, 
thousands of villagers in the vicinity were infected with some strange disease and died. But only one young girl survived, the owner of the company at the time, who was still serving as a high-ranking military officer, was ordered to investigate and found a strange creature around the young girl. The creature was desperately trying to protect the girl due to the strange appearance of the monster. Everyone thought it came from outer space, but after the monster was killed, the senior officers realized that the monster was actually imagined by the girl. The young girl had transformed her imagination into reality through some kind of medium, and there was only one explanation for this medium, the strange disease brought by the meteorite. The boss brought the young girl back to the base for research and named the virus Medusa, or petrified disease. After years of research, the boss gradually learned the true nature of the Medusa virus. The Medusa virus, which existed in the universe long before the birth of mankind, would preferentially infect creatures with high mental activity, allowing the infected to evolve forcibly. This young girl, the only one who survived, has the characteristics of high mental activity. She has a rich imagination, and imagination is the key to drive evolution. Conversely, if the infected person has low mental activity, they will show symptoms of general petrification. At that time, the only one who discovered the secret was the boss. The boss knew that from the moment the Medusa virus came to Earth, the fate of mankind was already doomed. No one can escape from this fate, either choose to evolve or meekly wait for death. From then on, the young girl was closely monitored, and every day on her body, Various cruel experiments were conducted. The boss wanted to make the girl evolve successfully and use it for himself. However, the experiments have not been able to break through, even the girl's state, but also to the edge of collapse. So, the boss came up with a last resort, calling petrified patients with high-frequency minimal activity from all over the world, thus prompting the girl to evolve successfully. This trick really works. The girl's minimal frequency reached the highest peak ever. The whole body of the cells began to divide, from the final successful evolution, only one step away. But at this critical moment, the base suddenly lost power. It turned out that other countries, wanting to seize the results, sent troops to attack. Almost at the same time, the young girl inside the container lost control and fell into a state of madness. Unable to carry out spiritual guidance, the main evolved into a vine with life and began to enlarge infinitely. Soon bursting the container, the boss tried various methods, but still could not stop the main. The experiment failed. The boss lost the meaning of life. He pulled out a pistol to kill himself, but fortunately was blocked by the long-haired man. At this point, the vine monster caught up with them, and the group once again began to run for their lives. On the way, the long-haired in order to everyone to break the back. Unfortunately by the monster bite the head. The critical moment, a sharp sword suddenly threw the monster's throat. It turned out to be the old black back again. Old black know their own time is not much. Soon to the whole body petrified. Choose to stay. The long-haired men thus recovered a life. Quickly catching up with the first few people, the crowd jumped into the water tower, following the rising water, and finally managed to escape the laboratory. When they looked at the castle from afar, the castle had completely fallen into the thorns. The scene was a wreck. The sky dark clouds. Glasses girl alone towards the coast, thinking that maybe sister has long since died. But at that moment, a ground a bloodstained camera caught her attention. She hurriedly opened it to see. Inside the reporter and doctors seemed to be rescuing the wounded. The camera trance captured the patient. The patient's whole body, as if some kind of evolution is also taking place. The glasses girl was horrified. The patient inside was none other than her own sister. It turns out that the family of Glass's girl is suffering from petrified disease, but only one person can participate in the cryosleep experiment. Since the death of her parents, Cobra and her sister are dependent on each other. If she goes to receive treatment and survives, what is the point of being without her sister? So, on the eve of participating in the experiment, she wanted to pull her sister to jump off a cliff and kill herself, and her sister desperately advised her that she must survive. During the argument, the glasses girl but accidentally fell off the cliff. The sister survived by a fluke. When she saw her sister's body falling off the cliff, the sister almost collapsed. Emotional outburst. But this also inspired the Medusa virus in her body. The body began to mutate. She wants to create a world where only her sister exists. Powerful spiritual power surprisingly directly influenced the young girl in the laboratory and even took over the dominant position. The thorns just grew recklessly and developed in accordance with the sister's imagination, creating a sister. Originally all this just wait until the sister woke up naturally. The rest of the world should also be cleaned up by her. But who would have thought that the attack of other countries in the middle of the process would make the imaginary sister wake up only 48 hours after entering the sleep bin? The sister specially arranged a few people to protect her sister's safety. That is, the other few people who survived. But I didn't expect that there would be a mistake after all. The camera left on the beach. 
Let the sister who fantasized to come out found the end. She desperately ran towards the inside of the castle, and finally saw her sister wrapped in thorns inside. But her body was already cold, and only a trace of spiritual power remained. In the end, the sister chooses to sacrifice herself and let her sister live alone.